Hello again, and welcome back to Introducing Grunt, the JavaScript Task Runner. In the last section, we talked about some testing options, and in this section, we're going to talk about deploying our projects. In this video, we'll discuss creating a deployment package. This will involve integrating all of the tasks we've used so far tied together. First step is to tie all of our tasks together to create a clean package of only production-ready files. Let's look at what we already have. Our current build task includes Compass Prod. This compiles our CSS into a nice compact format. Concat, which creates one file out of many. Copy, which moves the files to a new distribution folder. Then finally, CSS min, which minifies the results. That's a pretty good start, but let's zip it so that we can easily send one file. So we'll run npm install grunt contrib compress save dev. And once that's done installing, We'll go ahead and run back over to our editor. Here you can see I've added a compress task with one target of main. And under the options, I have an archive name, which is site.zip. And under the files, we have an object that contains expand equals true. This is the file system command that lets us traverse the file system. Source, everything under the distribution folder. And then destination at the root of this folder. Now we'll go down to our build task here, and we'll go ahead and add compress. We'll hit save there, go over to our terminal, type grunt build, and then you'll see it runs compass, concat, copy, CSS min, compress. And now if I go open dot, you can see that right here I have a new zip file created just now. But let's say you want to do deploy to a testing server without compressed code. Let's create another target. First, we'll add a dev task that includes the same items. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, paste it. But I'm going to call this task dev, and I'm going to change my targets, and I'm going to add some new targets to these, adding dev to all of them. There we go. Now we'll go through the tasks listed and we'll add prod to the existing targets, then add a dev target. Here we have compass, which already had a dev and a prod for different outputs. Then we have concat. Let's go ahead and add a new one here. We'll add dev to this. And we will still send it to process because that's the folder we're just using to process stuff. We'll go to Copy for prod. We're just going to copy this whole thing. Rename it dev. And then we're going to change the destination to dev. Great. Now we'll keep going to CSS min. It's already got a prod target. We'll add dev. Expand is true. We'll send it to a dev folder. Dev. Last thing I'm going to do is go back down to our dev build task and remove the compress. We actually don't want to compress it this time. We'll hit save and we'll go back over to our terminal and we'll type grunt dev. This time I'm going to use a new flag verbose so we can really see what's going on in each task. Look at all that stuff. And there you go. That's how we create two different targeted packages. In this video, we figured out how to create a clean deployment package by evaluating what we had, chaining our existing tasks together, then adding grunt-contrib-compress to zip the resulting files. In the next video, we'll go over Git integration.